Level 1, you're going to want to Mule Onslaught from leveling a Scion to level 2, and then you stash away the loot. After reaching level 2 on the Witch, you're going to grab Freezing Pulse. Your colors are going to be uh, blue, blue, green, blue, 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 and red, green, blue. So like a chromatic item. After doing the mud flats, you will go to Submerged Passage, take the waypoint to Tidal Island. After that, you will log out. You will grab the Quicksilver, summon Phantasm Support. You also grab Flame Ball and Holy Flame Totem. You're going to want a Red Socket just somewhere. Your links at this point are hopefully going to look like Holy Flame Totem with Summon Phantasm Support. You're going to place this down for really big packs like this or for Magic or Elite packs that you want to kill. You're going to hopefully use um, Frost Blink with Arcane Surge, requiring a blue blue. And additionally, you're going to want a flame wall just anywhere, just somewhere, anywhere. You will use this right on top of the Holy Flame Totem. Additionally, you will also use a mixture of Frost Bomb and Freezing Pulse. This is just primarily to proc Onslaught. Um, we do do the Wand Craft, so you will see me prepare the Iron Ring for Topaz Ring here. That recipe is, of course, an Iron Ring plus a Green Gem makes a Topaz Ring. A Magic Wand, an Alteration, and a normal Topaz Ring will make the... Uh, lowest roll of lightning damage, which is what we want because absolution scales off of um, flat damage. So we're going to be doing that craft. Once you get to lower prison, you're going to want to take the waypoint back to town, do some merge passage. After this, you will pick up added lightning and you will get the skill point from Tarkley. Again, looking for your colors. Here you will see me look at the tooltip for freezing pulse. It's 97.6. I will equip the wand that I created and you will see that my tooltip goes up to 228. This is why we do the Wandcraft. After this, you can link Frost Bomb to Added Lightning and Onslaught, or you can link Freezing Pulse to it. It's kind of up to your personal preference. One side note about using Frost Bomb is that I like using it personally for killing packs to proc Onslaught, um, but if you don't like using Frost Bomb at all, feel free to only use it for single target. It reduces a monster's resistance to cold by, I believe, 15%. After killing Brutus, you're going to log out, you're going to grab Flame Dash, and you're going to replace our, um, your Frost Blink with it at level 10. At level 12, you're going to grab a Spirit Offering and Absolution. You're going to look for an, a linked blue, green, red item, so like a chromatic item. You're going to do Absolution, Added Lightning, and Onslaught. You're going to remove the Frost Bomb. You're going to remove the Freezing Pulse. And you can keep using Holy Flame Totem and Flame Wall for a short period of time if you'd like. You can throw in zombies if you'd like. I think that they're a little weak at the moment. And you're also going to use Flame Dash. In Act 2, I recommend doing the Den for the extra Quicksilver that it provides. Additionally, once you're 16, you're going to be grabbing Summon Skitterbots from Yina, and you're going to be getting Herald of Thunder as your quest reward from Groost. At level 20, you're going to want to do one singular Lightning Ring Craft. This is going to be with a rare topaz ring, an alteration, and a magic wand. Make sure you only do one. You can see that even just with one, my damage goes from 332 to 556. After doing crematorium, you're going to want to grab convocation as well as either despair or conductivity. Despair is slightly better at this early stage, whereas conductivity is equally as good and gets much, much better as the game goes on. Instead of killing Gravicious, once you enter the Ebony Barracks, we're actually going to go straight to Library. This is so we can grab a few key gems, one of which being our main way of um, transportation. After completing Library, you're going to grab the Feeding Frenzy support. You're also going to buy Shield Charge and Faster Attacks and link them together. This is the reason why we only do one Wandcraft. Feel free to also grab Herald of Purity, as well as um, Ray Spectre, as these will be important later on in the run. Once you reach level 28, you've unlocked most of the gems for the build. Feel free to throw in things like Ray Zombie or Ray Spectre if you'd like. Feel free to throw in Summon Carrion Jolem at I believe 34. For your Spectre, you're going to want to use Stygian Silverback from Riverways. I don't like doing this until I can afford more links to make the Spectre a little bit tankier, and or getting a number of other passive uh, points on the tree to make them tankier as well. One last thing I'd like to clarify about my tree is that at one point I take the minion mastery which gives 250 to minion accuracy. The reason I take this is primarily not so much for the absolution's um, basic attack which it does help, however absolution doesn't really cast their basic attack very often. It's primarily for the other minions to make them uh, not so weak. With that, that concludes my absolution necromancer leveling guide. Um, feel free to let me know in the comments if you'd like me to change anything about these guides, or if you'd like to see more of them. That'll be it. Good luck in the upcoming 3.18 Sentinel League.